Coach McCurry from Baseball by the Yard. Thanks again for stopping by today. Today's tip is one of those little things that is often not explained to fielders and it's something that you see kids at all levels screw up because they don't get this very basic tip down pat. Now, for this drill or for this uh, tip here, we are talking about a ball that's maybe bobbled, uh, thrown and gets away from you and is sitting on the ground either rolling or stationary. And so the tip for today is basically how do we pick up the baseball? Seems like a real basic thing, a no-brainer, but often players will mess up this basic skill. Now, the general rule is if the ball is moving, we always want to use two hands, okay? If the ball is standing still and not moving, we use our bare hand. You never want to be picking up a baseball with just your glove, whether it's, especially when it's standing still. If the ball is rolling, we might be able to use one hand if necessary, but we never pick up a stationary ball by bending down and picking it up with our glove. Because often when we do it, sometimes the ball does not come up with the glove. So if the ball is standing still, you use your bare hand. If the ball is moving, we use two hands. Now, this comes into play with a variety of positions. If there's a ball hit off the wall and is sitting at the base of the wall, an outfielder goes back. If the ball is standing still, he picks it up with his bare hand and throws it. If the ball is rolling, he uses his glove. All middle infielders, all first and second base pitchers, all do this same principle with fielding bunts and balls that are bobbled and get away from them. Even catchers are going to be dealing with this when they jump out in front of the, front of the home plate to field bunts and, and wild pitches, pass balls, and, and, and things like that. So a catcher is going to do a little differently in how he positions his glove. So I have a catcher's mitt here, and the same rules apply that if the ball is not rolling, he's going to bend down and pick it up with his bare hand. If the ball is rolling, he's going to sweep the ball into his bare hand. So he's going to use the flat section of uh, the finger part of his glove, and when he bends down, he's going to use that section of his glove like a broom and sweep it into his bare hand so that he can get up and make the throw from there. So this applies to many positions on the field. Another tip when you're picking the ball up is make sure you position your feet on either side of the ball so that your eyes are looking straight down so it's very easy to either sweep it or to pick it up with your bare hand. Lots of times kids will make this mistake is they won't set their feet on either side of the ball. They'll position their feet here because they're in a hurry to throw in this direction. And when they bend down to pick the ball up, they miss the ball because they're in such a hurry to throw it that they forget to do the basic things of picking the ball up. So, the ball standing still, use your bare hand. The ball's real rolling, use your glove and your bare hand. Never pick a, a stationary ball up with your glove and always position your feet on either side of the ball and you'll be able to do that very basic skill of picking up a ball that is sitting right in front of you. Alright folks, so a lot of little tips here today involving some basic skills involving just picking the ball up that is right in front of you. So I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Check in tomorrow for another tip from Baseball by the Yard and have a great day everybody.